You are more attractive than you think. Now, I wish it was something that somebody could have told me earlier. Somebody could have taught me along the lines of, you are okay, you are perfect the way you are. It's somebody out here for you, right? For the longest I battled with insecurities on how I looked, how I looked in pictures, how I looked in videos, all because of other people's interpretation of me or how they view me on how I looked, right? I always used to think, maybe if I was looked this way, I would get all the girls that I wanted. Maybe if I looked like this, I could get every opportunity in the world. Maybe if I dressed a certain way, I would be perfect to do whatever I want to, right? Over time, I started to realize and understand that I'm actually more attractive than I think I am, truthfully. It's crazy to think about it. But it's just like, I feel like everybody has this thought in their head that they, they're not good enough. Like, everybody around them is just ultimately perfect until they understand that nobody has life figured out or nobody is in a position that they actually want to be in for real. This is why I say everybody makes it up as, as they go. Because nobody has a blueprint actually set out. Day by day, people wake up, people do a million and one things to fill out their day. But it's just like, I just want to say, it's somebody out here for you. That what I genuinely had to understand for myself and really just had to tell myself that it's somebody out here for me that's going to like me for me and enjoy being around me. We get too caught up on the people that don't like us. You could literally be enjoying life to the fullest. Then somebody come along and say, why are you doing the things that you do? Why, why you look like that? You could be smiling right now and somebody be like, why are you smiling? Why are you so happy? They're going to push their negativity onto you. And us as humans, we understand that and we literally just take it every single time. Now we're in our head thinking, maybe I'm not enough. Maybe I don't look good as I think. Maybe I'm not this fit guy that people look up to. Maybe I'm not this good content creator that everybody just watch. We start to think and limit ourselves to other people's beliefs. But I just want to say, it's somebody out here for you. Not everybody is going to like the things that you like, and that's fine. That's why so many options in the world, right? I'm going to give you an example with cars. Not everybody like Lamborghinis. Not everybody like foreign cars. Me personally, I grew up wanting a Lamborghini. I said, you know what? When I get older, I'm going to have a Lamborghini. Nine times out of ten, I will have a not Lamborghini. But I've also started looking into Corvettes. I'm just like, I like the way it's a sport look. How I be having two doors. I like the black on black. The black interior, red interior design. You start to understand that, okay, certain things are not for you. And certain things aren't meant for you. And that's fine. Everybody has their own taste. It was this video that I had seen on Instagram. It was about this violinist. They was in a New York train station. She was in a New York train station and she performed for everybody that was there. People was walking past her. Didn't acknowledge her at all. Not knowing that she just did a show that sold out. And she made around $4 million that show. She played that same piece in the train station and nobody valued her at all. Everybody was just walking past her, didn't understand her worth, and that's fine. You have to change your environment. You have to change the people you're around to actually understand that you're good enough. That's why I tell people all the time, I'm constantly telling guys, yo, work on yourself, bro. Get in the gym. Get in the gym, bro. If your skin messed up, if your skin, if you got acne, go ahead, start washing your face every single day. Start drinking water. Start focusing on what you put in your body because that can make a huge difference, right? Once you start eliminating factors that you can change physically, mentally, you're going to have clar clarity. You're not going to be so focused about what everybody else got to say because you're going to understand that nobody has life figured out. Everybody has their own thing going on. This reminds me of back in high school, like when people used to clown content creators or clown me when I used to make videos. And it's just like, 
Now they want to do videos. The only reason people was clowning, it was because they, was, they wasn't confident in themselves to start. And that's what a lot of people are nowadays. They're not confident within themselves, so now they just try to portray this image and push it on to somebody else. And you just have to be strong enough to be like, no way, I'm not going to accept this at all because this is not going to do anything but just limit me and pull me down. And I know you don't want to get pulled down at all. You have to understand that everything is not meant for you and everything that people say, don't take it to heart because at the end of the day, they probably got something going on. And a couple years from now, they're going to be like, yo, this person is actually attractive. This person, they, they that. Oh, they making content now. They doing what they got to do. That's what you got to understand. People are out here wanting to do what you do. People are out here searching for the same things that you're looking for. You don't have to sit here and compete with nobody. Somebody is going to like you for you. I'm going to just be 100% real. If you a quiet person, is another quiet person that's looking for you. If you like to be loud and in drama, you're going to find somebody that's loud and that's in drama. If you want somebody that's ducked off on their purpose, on their grind, go to the library. Go to the library. If you want somebody that's in college, go to a college campus, meet them while they in the library studying, go ahead and talk to them. That's how you get what you want. Find what you want. You have to put yourself in positions to find the things that you want. Continue to do the activities. Find groups. You're going to... You're going to find people that's going to waste your time, that's going to act like they on the same type of time you on. You're going to think this girl is meant for you, but the more you get to know her and the more you start to understand that, maybe you're not for me. Maybe you are not the one for me, and that's okay. You have to understand that. Just because it didn't work out, there's no love lost, there's no hard feelings. I just realized that at this moment in time, I'm just, you're not the one that I'm looking for. And this when you have to understand your standards. Understand what you're looking for to the T. You can say that you want something, but if you don't break it down one by one, the qualities, what they bring to the table, how they carry themselves, what they want in life, you're going to be lost. You're going to be lost in thinking you want this one thing, but then when you get it, you're all over the place because it's not exactly how you want it. You have to understand. What you ask for, you have to ask for it specifically you're attractive be confident within yourself not everybody is going to like you not everybody is going to want to hang with you be your friend and that's okay that's perfectly fine I'm a firm believer in this right they hated Jesus so you really think they're not going to hate you <laughs> it was people that was with him was people that wasn't with him but at the same time guess what he still was himself and that's what you have to do you have to be yourself at all times don't sit here and try to act like something you're not yeah you can shape yourself into becoming the person that you want to be but at the same time at the end of the day you are who you are you could work on yourself you could build yourself up but at the same time cover yourself with enough confidence and dignity within yourself to be like this is me and you will have the person that you want. They will come. Take time. Do not sit there and chase, bag anybody to be in your life or to be with you. If somebody wants you, they're going to put the time in for it. If you're not attracted to that person, if you don't feel to find that person interesting, you're probably not going to mess with them. And that's fine. Just find somebody that's just speed. That's all I want to say, man. Understand that you are, you are enough and that over time, you will find a person that's for you. They will come into your life. You just have to be ready to accept it. That's it for this video. Drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead. Drop a comment, man. I'm out.